going to my pizza oven. We're going to start the tour here. So this pizza oven was here and we renovated it. It really costs very little to renovate. And you'll never hear me say that. And of all the things in the house that I did, and when I say it was hundreds of things, this was the thing that my husband was like, oh my God, the pizza oven. I mean, that's the best. You had me a pizza oven. I was like, really? Really? I spent like 300 euro on this is what you're going on and on about. So we do pizza night here. It's super fun. We make our own pizza dough. We have our guest retreats make their own pizza so they learn how to be a pizzaiola and they're really excited about it. This is my happy place. I always play the Rolling Stones because the pizza dough likes it and we end up with great pizza. If I don't play the Rolling Stones, the pizza's not as good. I'm just telling you. All right, so this is the Vineyard Terrace. Follow me. God bless you. Welcome to the beautiful Vineyard Terrace. The reason we call it the Vineyard Terrace is, yes, we have a view of our vineyard. So it's really nice to sit out here, have an aperitivo. This is where we have pizza night, all the lights are shining. When you stay in the Debondance rooms, you get to come and enjoy sitting here, reading a book, having a cocktail, drinking some of our wine. Okay, let's go to the vineyard. I can't believe that you guys like climbed over these fences because they're electrified <laughs> for like a five, six, seven hundred pound boar. Oops. Okay, this is Manolo and this is his brother Alessandro and their family works our vineyard. Più o meno saranno dieci anni. It's around ten years and I've been here for five or six years and when we bought the property it was very, very difficult to buy this property. So when we finally closed and we finally had our celebration, they brought out all of this wine and we were drinking it. There was a red, there was a white, and we we're like, oh, these are really good. And they said, oh, it's from our vineyard. And I was like, wait a minute, we have a vineyard? Like we bought a property with a vineyard? Like we have a wine, like wine is grown on our, like we're having. So I turned to my friend and I said, do we own a vineyard now? And, and he's like, yes, you do. And he was concerned that we would tell him to go away. <laughs> and we were like, no, 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 stay, stay, stay. So, and we had the same thing with, you're gonna meet our gardener. We had the same thing with him. He thought we were gonna fire them, but we were like, no, 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 we're gonna give you more work. Abbiamo visto subito le potenzialità di questo vigneto perché l'esposizione, la località è eccezionale per questo, per fare vino. Noi conduciamo il vigneto in maniera totalmente biologica e il vino che facciamo è un vino naturale, quindi senza lieviti, senza solfiti aggiunti, come tutti i nostri vini. And they're both very cute. I mean, come on. All right, so for all of you that are very aspirational, you're looking at me and you're going, I want her life. In this case, I agree with you. 12th century fortress for sale, 27 acres with a working vineyard. I mean, sold. Like, where do I sign the check? Like, I couldn't run inside the check fast enough. But it was all a surprise. And if you read about it in my book, Italy is my boyfriend, you'll, you'll know exactly what happened here and how I got to adopt these two brothers. <laughs> I call this our nighttime terrace because this is where we see the sunset. And of course it has a beautiful view of the Apennine Mountains. And this is where we do our evening aperitivos. And then we do lovely dinners here. The sun sets while you're drinking your drink. We have music. Sometimes we have dance parties here. So those lemons we're gonna make some limoncello with later. I love making limoncello every year. I make it. God, it's sunny out here today. Holy cow, I think I'm just gonna go to the pool. Do I have to keep doing this? Yeah, go down. Okay. Go All right. Terrace, come with me. Do you wanna go to the pool? I wanna go to the pool. I wanna get, yep, yep. You're not doing it with the camera though, you're doing it with your head. Uh, this guy's not gonna get it ever, ever. This is our pergola. Lunches are great here. Watching the sunset is great here. Barbecues. All right, come with me to my rose garden. This is all, these are all grapes too, by the way. No need for aperitivo, just climb up there and eat some grapes. 
This is my rose garden. Very proud of my rose garden. I love doing arrangements, so it's lovely to just come out and clip flowers from here. So these are from the La Fortessa home collection, my collaboration with Europe to You. They're to go with uh, my cookbook at the table of La Fortessa. You can use them for flowers. Uh, I like to use them in the kitchen for utensils. You can simply just use them decoratively. This is very meditative for me. I find this really zen. So I think that's all of them. I think we have enough. I'm pretty happy. Ooh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Beautiful. This is my vegetable garden. We are uh, planting it today. Um, one of my favorite days of the year with one of my favorite people. This is John Luca. I would say he's our groundskeeper because he does a lot more than just work on the garden. I mean, he takes care of our pool. He takes care of me. If I have a problem, I call John Luca. Everything you see here, this man planted. So, questa è pomodori or no? Qua mettiamo l'insalata mm -hmm. e il sedano. So we're gonna do more of the celery that I adore here in Italy. And qua, e lì, e lì? Lì mettiamo i pomodori e le melanzane. That's our gardener, and this is our garden. Okay, so this is our pool. The view is, you know, so-and-so, as they say in Italy. This was a very hard project. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody ever do this again, or I, I would never do this again. Like, if they paid me, would I pay for this pool? I wouldn't do it again. That's how bad this was. So that's saying a lot. So I bought this bar at this market, at this super secret market. This was a, um, a fish vendor's kiosk which is what it looks like but i just thought it's a mix for a really fun bar and when we have yoga retreats and stuff we you know can do fruit juices and fruit and you know healthy things here for all the healthy people that do yoga but i like a cocktail at this bar personally yeah we decided to do an infinity pool really because if you do have well there's a couple things one john luca thought it would be a good idea it is so bright out here um, and two, it cleans itself, and so it's very clean. And you know I like clean things, I'm very clean. And then this is the lounge area. We have a shower. I have to get in the shade, oh my God. I was like going blind. <laughs> so bright out there. Anyway, do I have to keep doing this or can I just put my bathing suit on and lay out? Oh, I signed up for this. The pergola was built actually by John Luca. He's very clever and you always have to have some sort of shade because we're, you know, as I'm complaining, we're, it's so sunny here. You know, we wanted a lounge area. The lamps are not very expensive so they can be easily exchanged. This is not lined up, it's driving me crazy. So this is what I'm like. It's like, this is not right. Please hold. Perfect. Yeah, everything, like I see everything, which drives my family insane. Oh yes, then we did, we did a bocce ball court, which I'm really, really good at bocce ball and I let everybody win, Michael. This is really fun, it's, so it's astroturf and sand, so there's sand underneath it. The scoreboard's cool, it's vintage, so that's really fun. My producer wanted me to show you the scoreboard because his score was still up and he won. And because he's a man, you know, he, it's like very important for him to show everybody that he won. But anyway, it's a super fun thing. We enjoy it. So that's our recreational pool area. So this is a new addition to La Fortessa, as is Arelva, <laughs> a new addition. With Arelva came this guy. Oh, muere. 
Evo the dog. I mean the donkey. <laughs> Hi, puppy. So this is Evo, our donkey, Arelba's dog. We also have two horses. Sharon and Evo lived together for a long time. They're rescues. And then we bought Apricot. So this is Evo. <laughs> and Evo, I, I don't, I have something, but later. Please hold. And you know, I have to say that if you just do this to a donkey, it really chills you out. It's better than yoga or meditation. We just come and we rub our animals. Yeah, isn't he sweet? And then we just built the shelter for them for the winter time so that they can cuddle up and huddle up in there. Okay, a lot of kissing, Chris. <laughs> a lot of kissing this morning. So Relva is our um, house manager. She's been working with us since June and um, we needed someone like her. Um, she's great with the guests. She can get along with Leo, which is an, uh, not always easy. <laughs> it's because when she doesn't, she just comes here and she just rubs Evo's head. Leo loves these animals as He well. does, he's so funny. We come every day to feed them and give some treats. So you wanna go see everybody else? Evo's like, no, I'm loving all this attention. This is Apricot, this is our new horse. And she's about four years old. Thank you, Apricot. Thank you, Apricot, for pooping. <laughs> so welcome to uh, Look, Arelva's you. Menagerie. <laughs> so, so we just, uh, up oh, and we're pooping thank again. Thank you, Sharon. Morning pooping, is this, like a, is this like a thing? <laughs> we're pooping in the morning? <laughs> we came during their morning poo after their coffee. Thank you for coming to see the newest edition at La Fortessa. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys real soon. Ciao.